Good day, people of the interwebs. We are well into week, yeah, whatever, of the corona lockdown. And we're still waiting for a vaccine because that's what they tell us we need to do. We need to wait for a vaccine. We have to lower the curve. And then once there is a vaccine, we can all open the doors and go outside. Ah, well, is that true? It seems that that isn't true. Well, that doesn't make sense. How could that not be true? Well, the problem with the vaccine is that um, vaccines tend to create um, a form of immunity, not a form of immunity, immunity. But yeah, to make that immunity, you need to be vaccinated. Well, yeah, obviously, that's silly. I mean... Of course you need to be vaccinated for that. Yeah, no, that's not the point I'm trying to make. The point I actually want to make is that vaccinating in itself is useless. Now, why would I say vaccinating is useless? Please feast your eyes at this. This is from Bloomberg, you know, the pro-China broadcaster, well, not broadcaster, newspaper of a presidential candidate of the Democratic Party, Bloomberg. Anyway, according to them, the World Health Organization warns us that you may catch the coronavirus more than once. Personally, I wasn't surprised to read this because the coronavirus is basically the common cold. And the common cold, yeah, there is no cure. There is no way around it. You can have it multiple times a year. The common cold is obviously far less deadly. It's not that it's not deadly, mind you, because you can still die from the common cold. But yeah, you need certain comorbidities for that one. Sidetracked. Sorry. Back to the story. So the World Health Organization warns you that you may catch the coronavirus more than once. And I'm going to go down a little bit. Uh, catching coronavirus once may not protect you from getting it again, according to the World Health Organization, a finding that could jeopardize efforts to allow people to return to work after recovering from the virus. But there's another issue that this points to. I'm trying to find the right words, I'm sorry. Because basically what they are saying here is vaccinations won't work. Well, surely that's not true, because a vaccination is a way for your body to be prepared to deal with the sickness. A vaccination is starting up your immune system to have antibodies against the virus without actually having the virus in you. But if you had COVID-19 already, that meant the virus ran its course in your body. So the antibodies you are having are actually from the virus itself which is that's at least as good i would personally think that's slightly better than with a vaccine but still the best antibodies you can have is from having gone through the disease and those antibodies aren't good enough so how good will a vaccine be yeah but herd immunity yeah okay fair enough but it's not going to be herd immunity is it because no one in the herd will have immunity your resistance to covid19 will not significantly increase with the vaccine and this is quite problematic because we've locked down just about everywhere in the Western world just so we can wait for a vaccine where we can seriously question if that vaccine will have any influence at all. It might, unfortunately, be useless. Anyway. This is me once again rambling on COVID-19 and, and the more we learn about it, the more we need to recognize that we've been 
basically fear mongered into it. This is this is project fear all over again. This is don't vote for Brexit because the UK will come to an end. Stop driving your car because CO2 is causing global warming and within 12 years no one in the world will be left alive. All those sorts of fear mongering based on absolutely fuck all. Now, at the beginning, I could understand why people were scared and all we had were prognoses. But all of the prognoses have failed. They're not even close to reality. I'm sorry, but we haven't seen two and a half million dead worldwide. OK, we're reaching two and a half hundred thousand. That's true. I'm not saying we don't have a lot of COVID deaths. The funny thing is, though, um, in the last month, we haven't seen any flu death. But usually we have a few because, let's be honest, it's the end of the flu season. We haven't seen any flu death this year. And in the last months, how many people have died of pneumonia-like complaints? Because this is something that always happens. It's not happen a lot, but it always happens. A few hundred per year. Okay. Um, and at this point in time, we have zero because all of them are counted as COVID. It's not difficult to scaremonger people um, pushing the numbers of COVID. If you then basically put everyone that falls in a category that could be slightly reminiscent of COVID, be COVID. There's a reason why a lot of people recognize COVID as just another flu. It's not, by the way, don't get me wrong, I know it's not a different flu, because it's, it's, it's a SARS. But it's no more deadly than a flu. But apparently, this is another difference between COVID and the flu. Vaccines, most likely, will not work. Because you can catch no COVID-19, even though you went through the disease and came out healthy on the other side. So even if your body made all the antibodies it needed, that's not a protection against COVID-19. Anyway, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And I hope to see you all next time.